What is going on guys, welcome to Gums Videos. My name is indeed Kyle Cooper, and welcome back to my WTF series reviews. And today I'll be reviewing a Dr. Seuss live action movie that's something that the furries love, but give me nightmares. Also had a hand in killing one of the greatest comedians of the early 90s career. No, not the Grinch, I'm talking about Cat in the Hat. So, this movie, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this, it's amazing. This movie is genuinely the best easily the best movie on this WTF series list I have done. It is spectacular and how bad this movie is. Because honestly, honestly, who is the writer and the genius who thought, hey, let's write up a script that involves Cat in the Hat saying dirty ho, involves him in doing like different impersonations and involving uh, attempting to murder a child. Just this movie is just spectacular spectacular on how oh my god i can't get that out of my system it's just so bad it's amazing it's a kind of refreshing i was laughing so much in this movie like in the wrong places there's times where i was laughing when he was doing impersonations but not because he the impersonations were funny because i remember reading these books in elementary school and not one time did i think that i was gonna see austin powers play this this character this role everything is wrong with this movie Movie. Everything. It's splendid. It's amazing. I, I honestly don't think I can get mad at this movie. I, I honestly don't see me in a point of this review where I actually can get mad. I can't get mad. I, I, I really can't. It's a gem found in a shit pile. <laughs> it really is. Oh my god. Like it was like the Deadpool of Dr. Seuss films. Like it's incredible. If there was a Dr. Seuss cinematic universe, and please start that, I would love to see that <laughs> just for the wrong reasons. But if there was a Dr. Seuss cinematic universe, Cat in the Hat would definitely definitely be the Deadpool and the Grinch would be like the Batman or the Deathstroke the very serious and grim and then you see Deadpool like what's up one thing I do hate is the set design I know they're going for oddball I know what they're going for the mom's office like where the guy has like a severe like germophobia issue and a guy touches his hand and he screams you're fired that made me cringe a little bit. I guess that wasn't funny. That that was pretty that was pretty bad. That was like your fire. Wasn't that Inspector Gadget, by the way? Like I I don't beside the point. There was way too much green in that room. Like there was a green fan, green walls, green chairs, and there was a lot of people wearing green suits. The only thing that popped was the, the main character's mom who was wearing pink and the person behind her was wearing pink. That that was just painful on the visual standpoint. Some of the visuals, like on a set design standpoint, is pretty bad. I mean, I like the look of the town. It's different, and you could tell from just looking at it, it's a Dr. Seuss film, and that's amazing. You have to have, in order to, like, when you have a certain identity and when someone looks at it, you can tell it's a certain movie. That's awesome. But the interior was just too green. Just too green. Like the color choices were just so odd. Just so weird. Another fact that I, I didn't find that funny was Alec Baldwin's character. Uh, Alec Baldwin uh, is just not funny in this movie. He can be funny. I don't find him funny in most of his movies, but in this movie particular, they gave him shit to work off of. And when he first popped up on screen, I remember seeing this movie. I don't remember Alec Baldwin being in this movie. I knew as soon as I saw him, I'm like, he's going to be the bad stepfather. Like, I could see it. And then they took it to a weird route where he was unemployed. He was losing his TV and like... They could have honestly have just lost that entire story arc and just stuck more with Cat in the Hat. I mean, I would rather see Cat in the Hat do impersonations. As stupid as it is, I mean, it's bad, but it was the right kind of bad. It, it was a magical experience. They took a, ch a children's icon and made him into a, the butt of a joke, literally. They showed us his ass. Oh my God, just like every time he changed into a costume, I was in awe that this is what they decided to go with Cat in the Hat. That is just not his character. But go back to Alec Baldwin, yeah, what just would have wasted of screen time. And since this is a Cat in the Hat movie, there was no way they could stick to the original story faithfully and make it an hour and a half long. I think it was an hour and a half. It felt pretty short. They had to add an element to the movie where we actually felt stakes because without stakes, there's no point in watching the movie. So they introduced this, like, 
alternate dimensional box that Cat in a Hat comes from, which is kind of stupid. I'm not gonna lie, that was really dumb. I haven't read the books in a long time, so bear with me for a moment. I'm pretty sure, like, Cat in a Hat didn't interact with any other kids. At least from what I remember, I was wondering, is this part of their imagination? Or is this reality? And that was amazing, and I, I like that aspect. No, he's interacting with other kids, he's interacting with other parents, like, woo! Like, if that was not the case, I mean, forgive me, but and from what I remember reading the books, there was this aspect of, is this really happening, or is this part of their imagination, and like, kids are sorting things out, because when you're a kid, your imagination kind of teaches you lessons. So, I like that aspect, but now the fact that we know Cat in the Hat's real, kind of loses that magical aspect. I mean, who gives a shit? He says dirty hoe. I, I just want, I just want to get mad at this movie. I, I, I really, really do, but it's so fucking stupid from the, he was a Jamaican for God's sakes. So I like, he was like, peace, love, and all that, bro. You, you can't make this shit up. I, I, I completely understand why Dr. Seuss's children written a contract and a law where they cannot make any more live action films after that because it really it's just not dr seuss's vision like oh my god this was clearly a cash grab and i feel bad for mike myers because this really ruined his career whoever the casting agent was needs to be fired i hope they are fired because that was just a bad decision and there was a time in the movie where like with even with the talking cat with weird machinery, it really made me say that could not happen. Uh, Alec Baldwin's character and the mom were racing back to the house. And Cat in the Hat and the two kids were rushing back there. And then Thing 1 and Thing 2 stopped the mom and Alec Baldwin's character. And Alec pursues on foot while Cat in the Hat and the two kids are by car. So tell me, tell me this. How in the actual ass... Did Alec Baldwin get there before the kids? Just, just uh, I'm fascinated how that works. Like, tell me in a world where that works, because Alec Baldwin does not have alternate dimensional abilities like Cat in the Hat does, but yet he got there and he was hiding under the fucking steps. Like, tell me how the kids didn't see, they were coming from this section over there and Alec Baldwin was hiding the steps right there. So they would have seen him passing by oh my god everything about alec baldwin's character really kind of triggered me like it was just stupid like it really was he was just a waste of time i would rather have seen cat in the hat murder that child with a bat one time where i actually laughed at the joke that they made and that was when he got hit in the nuts cat in the hat and he starts seeing him swinging on his head it was so fucking stupid <laughs> I, I can't really discuss this movie with you guys because it's so hard. Like, there's not much plot because it's based off a children's book. There's not much you can write about this in a movie. So you can see that. You really see the struggle. They were just throwing mayhem after mayhem after mayhem. And, like, they, they just were running into a rut. They didn't know what to write about. So they just kept on throwing more Cat in the Hat skits, like, where he was wearing a trucker costume, where he was wearing a redneck costume, where he was wearing a Jamaican costume, where he was wearing like a housewife's costume. I don't even know what he was wearing. It's just, this is something that is near impossible to review to actually get the point across. This movie, and I mean this, is magical for every wrong reason. It's spectacular. Spectacular. If you have an HBO account, I definitely recommend you guys watching this. One more thing I forgot to mention. There's been like brand deals in movies before. Like Michael Bay's infamous for this. This honestly cracked me up of how like they just did not care. They did not care. This movie is made by DreamWorks, which I do not know how. This movie was also made by Universal. So... They're going down on the slide on top of their babysitter, don't even ask. And then Cat in a Hat literally stops everything, looks at the camera, and he's like, hey, buy your tickets to Universal Studios at Orlando Resort. Oh my god. <laughs> so fucking stupid. <laughs> I'm not even... <laughs> just so fucking 
writers, professionals who try to hide the, the, the ads and stuff like that in these movies. But the writer's like, no, I got this. Hey. <laughs> Go to Universal Studios. Sit <laughs> While riding on top of an old ass lady. <sighs> oh my god, that is just. Oh, you can't. You can't make this shit up. A childhood icon. Ursa students at Orlando Resort. You can't make that shit up. A Dr. Seuss must be rolling in his grave. Like. Thing. If everything in the movie was perfect, then I'd mean this. If everything in the movie was perfect, like they got, got the hat right, they got the world, they got the atmosphere right, they got the lore right, they managed to add new little details and makes the cat and hat character much more deeper. But if they kept that one to five seconds in the movie, <laughs> that would have killed everything. I'm sorry I'm stuck on this for so long. It's just so fantastic. <laughs> like, to see. Someone I had to read for three and a half years in elementary school. What about <laughs> two tickets to Orlando Studios? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm done. I spent way too much time on that. Way too much time. <laughs> that out of the way. <laughs> okay, let's get serious. Let's get serious. Let's get serious. Okay, I can I can power through this for YouTube. I can power through this. <sighs> so the movie is crazy, and um, yeah, <laughs> you 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 just can't make this shit up. I was honestly thinking throughout halfway through the movie, this is Austin Powers stuck in a furry concert on acid. Yeah, that's the best way to explain it. And yeah, I do have a quick question. Like this, like this is a complaint, but like if they go to a bar or like a nightclub, right? That's in their world still because everything still obeys the laws of physics and shit like that. Tell me, why is there a cat in the hat hats? Or like why is there the red and white striped hats? Does that indicate that he's a pop culture icon? If that's the case, then why didn't Alec Baldwin or anybody else, even the kids, no, he was there. That's a huge, huge plot hole that they added. Because you could tell it's part of their world. Because there's an easy exit and there's an easy entrance. It's weird. It's weird. So I definitely recommend you guys go watch this movie. It's on HBO right now. Uh, it, the subscription for HBO is, I think, around $10 right now. So go subscribe for 10 months. Go watch this movie. I definitely recommend it. But as a movie, I'm going to have to write this. Definitely the best worst movie and for all the laughs I'm gonna give it a 2.3 out of 5 stars. I want to hear your thoughts down below guys. I have a Twitter, Instagram, comes underscore videos. Go follow me there for the latest news and updates on my channel. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and all that crap later and goodbye.